Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's makeup look is on this eye and lip tutorial on like this sunset smoky eye. Oh, mm, 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 mm. I think it's so daytime appropriate. Like it's really soft. I took it out. Like I wore this clubbing the other night and I think it was so pretty as well. But I, instead of putting like a nude, I put like a brown eye call in there, so it was a bit more smoky. But I wanted to keep it more daytime appropriate, like I said. So I put the nude in. But yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy today's video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you do and subscribe down below before you leave so you guys can join my YouTube fam and I can see you in my next tutorials. Otherwise, yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy today's video and without further ado, let's get straight into it. Hope you enjoy. So I've already done my base as you guys can already tell. I'll make sure to leave linked up above what I've got on my face. I just recently like today actually I'm doing a like first impressions on the raw cosmetics makeup brand so like their foundation concealer and pressed powder so I'll make sure to leave that linked up above in the cards and I'll also link it down in the description bar if you guys would like to check it out um, they're a natural makeup brand so if you guys are more interested in trying to move away from like the harsh chemicals synthetic makeup brands and more towards a natural one then you can check this video out. But otherwise, yeah, let's move on with the eyes. I'm so excited. I have an idea of what I want today, like something very smoky, like sunsetty. Like I did like this pink smoky eye the other day, but like did like a sunset kind of feel with it. And I loved it, so I might do that today. We'll see how we go. We'll see. I sometimes change it up, so we'll just see. We'll just go with it. Okay, so I haven't primed my lids yet, so I'm going to go in with a different primer than my usual one today though because I usually go in with my MAC soft ochre paint pot blah 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 but I want an actual base that's going to make the colours really stand out so I'm going to actually go in with my NYX jumbo pencil in milk and apply that um, just over the lid area and blend it up towards my brow making sure to make the most product on the lid because that's where like I want the most vibrancy to be and then just fade it up towards the brow I'm blending it all the way like from the inner corner as well on that whole lid covered and then just tapering whatever's left up towards the brow. Like I said, I'm not too focused on the brow area being too um, pigmented. I just want the lid to be nice and white. Just so that the colours like really stand out and there's a nice sticky base for them. Another really good base would be like a pink. If you had a really like vibrant pink cream um, eyeshadow or a creamy like eyeshadow base that would go along really well with this eye look as well but I don't have a pink base so I decided to go in with white just to make it really stand out. The first eyeshadow I'm going to go in with today is the yellow eyeshadow from my sugar peel palette called Butter Cupcake. They don't shell, shell, they don't sell um, the quad anymore um, the Burning Hearts palette, they only sell the eyeshadows individually, so I'll make sure to link that down below for you guys to check out if you want to. I'm just grabbing Butter Cupcake on a fluffy brush. This one is from Zoeva, it's a soft crease brush, and I'm just applying this through the crease area, just like so. I'm not too worried about it getting on the lid as much, but I do want it focused in the crease area. Just a soft yellow, like a soft wash of yellow to begin that sunset vibe feels. So as you can see, it's just like a light little wash of yellow um, to begin off the smoke, the smokiness. Um, I don't want it to be too intense because I do want to fade into the skin. So I just left it more pigmented as it goes down, but the very edges are quite soft and washed out. So next we're going to go in with Creamsicle. I've done this combo before, but I just think it helps initiate that transition from yellow to orange really smoothly. And I'm just taking it on that same soft crease brush from Zoeva. And I'm just dipping back into Butter Cupcake. Just having up any excess and just softening the edges of those two shadows. So the next shade I'm going to take is Flame Point from Sugar Peel um, and I'm going to place that in the crease with a petite crease brush this time. So I'm getting a slightly more denser brush to really pack that shade right in the crease area. I'm just starting from the outer corner 
corner of my eye and blending whatever's left towards the inner corner and making sure to look down as I apply that colour into the crease. So I find looking down allows me to apply the shadow in the most precise spot and blend it through without it going everywhere like too high too low kind of thing like it just slots right in I always go back in with the previous shades um, like I say in my other videos just because I want to get that seamless smoky effect so I find just going back in with each previous shade just to renew that kind of layer Next, for like the last eyeshadow we're going to use today, I'm just going to take the shade Custard from my Juvia's Place Deuce palette. And I'm just going to be packing that all over my lid area with my Morphe MB16 brush. And I'm packing the most eyeshadow right along the lash line area, so it's like darkest, closest to the lash line, and then it just softly tapers up into that crease area with the orange. I'll go back in like I done like I done like I've done with my other eyeshadows and bring them back a little bit but I just want it to taper up and be the most pigmented down the lash line. That's why I made it the most pigmented with that eye base there. Like I wanted it to be on the lid because that's where I want the most colour to shine through. Dump. So with whatever's on the brush, I just kind of use little dragging down motions to taper it into the orange. And then grabbing flame point on a pencil brush this time, just kind of slotting that right in the crease. Just lightly, barely touching the bristles to my eye. But still making sure I apply most of that product on the outer corner area. And creams are cool once again. But I'm using the petite crease brush this time because I just want it to be a little bit more pigmented. And finally, butter cupcake on that initial fluffy brush, that soft crease. And that's it, guys. That's literally done with the eyeshadow. Like it's so easy. It's such an easy eye look, but it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I just love the sunset vibes. So I'm going to quickly apply some mascara and then some lashes. I'm feeling I might come in with my usual temptress wispy lashes. You guys definitely can totally just leave it with your natural lashes. I mean, that's what I did the other day. If you're not comfortable with false lashes or you prefer, like, you're just not bothered, we all have those moments, trust me. Um, but I think, I think I'll go in with lashes. I'll decide. I'll be back in a sec. So, this is what the lashes applied. Like I said, they're just something very soft and wispy. I am in love with just, like, wispy lashes. Anyways, I'm thinking of doing, I guess, soft waterline, like a nude. So I'm going to take my usual models prefer nude eye curl and just apply that to my waterline. And because we have opened the eyes up a bit more, we need to bring that definition back onto the lash line again. For now, I'm just going to take the orange shade Flame Point on a precise shader brush from Zoeva and really, like define that bottom lash line. I'm keeping it most defined here on the outer point of the eye and just tapered it in towards the inner corner about two thirds of the way across. I don't want it all the way in and like closing off the eye. I want to still keep it quite like open. So I'm going to take a pencil brush and the shade Creamsicle again and I'm going to also just touch a little bit of flame point there too because I want to um, buff out um, the orange, but I do want to still kind of keep that vibrancy there, if that makes sense. So I've just dipped back into a bit of flame point again. Again, keeping it most, like, mostly smoky on the outer corner. And tapering it in towards the inner corner again. And bringing a little bit of flame point back again. And I'm smoking it out again, just with a bit of creamsicle and flame point. Always make sure you guys are connecting it back to the outer corners because um, it's very obvious when you've left a gap right here. And it's so easily done, such a simple mistake. So just be mindful that you are taking it back around to the corner of the eyes again. And then on as a way of a soft definer brush, I'm going to take a bit of butter cupcake and just place that along the very edges of Creamsicle and Flame Point. And just hugging that under eye area. Ooh, I do like that. 
just a touch of buttercup. I don't want anything too much, just a little bit and to tie the eyes in together. And just bring a bit of cream to cool and flame point back again. Okay, I'm going to do a different inner corner to brow bone highlight today. I'm going to take my Enlight shade from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and place that as my brow bone highlight. But I want something different for my inner corners. And I always go back in and just kind of buff out the edges a little bit. So for my inner corners, I want to take Tarte from the Juvia's Place palette and just apply that just to the very inner points. I just feel it's so complimentary, like that pink. Um, such an intense glow, it's so pretty. And I'm just doing like a light coat of mascara to my bottom lashes. And that just finishes up the eyes for today. So for the lips, I'm going to go in with my natural lip liner from Rimmel in the shade 049. I've been obsessed with this lip liner lately, like I found my love for it again. I'm just going to line my lips and fill them in um, as well. I like to slightly overdraw my lips with this lip liner. I think I might go in with LA um, from Kylie Cosmetics, um, her liquid lipstick, and just apply that as the centre of my lips. And then I think I might go on over top with my Bonjourist Paris lip gloss um, in the shade Rose Romantic. So that wraps up this makeup look. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's look, got a few tips and tricks from it. If you guys did like it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to my YouTube fam. I'd love to see you guys in my next upcoming videos. Otherwise, have an amazing day. I love you all so, so much. If you do have any requests, please leave them down in the comment section below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys very soon. Have an awesome week. Bye, guys.